What's up, collective? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. Now, collective, if this is your first time coming to my channel, we over here at the Karmic Circus, we tell you all about toxic karmic energies. We tell you about spell work. We tell you about mind manipulation. Um, I tell you about the effects of black magic. And um, if you're chosen, you are basically being spiritually attacked and unaware of it. So I use the cards for different ways to tell me how you're being spiritually attacked. And to give me stories. Okay. So these readings may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonates with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let the shit go. Okay. See, some of these karmics, people in your life, they could be... Your family members, they could be your friends, they could be your co-workers, they could be your neighbors, they could be people you grew up with, just people in your community. But there's somebody out there. Your karmic is wanting you to forget something or someone wants you to remember something or someone can be purposely trying to make you forget who you are, okay? This is the part that a person, the energy of someone who targeted you, okay? And this is what I'm talking about when I say how, how the dark energies come to attack divine energy. Now, you may, divi may be divine energy and you don't even know you may be an empath and you don't even know you may have a special calling upon your life and the devil will send people in your life to slow you down because you have a path that you're chosen to go down you may know that path and you may not you may be young and your family members may know that path and try to stop you because of jealousy Okay, these are karmic energies. Okay, so there's a karmic energy that left you hanging. Okay, made promises to you, false promises, and it left you hanging. And you could be thinking about that right now. Some of you could be in deep thought. This person could have given you some sort of necklace or something, a promise ring or something that they promised you. But that was just a that was just a uh, a targeted move through this person to be sent to you to stop you from meeting your true divine partner. Okay, so we're gonna pull some energies and um, see. Somebody got caught busted cheating. Practitioner put spell work on you at the request of someone jealous. So that could mean that your person has an ex out there that's bitter. She may not be a witch throwing candles and burning candles and all of that. But she's talking shit about you. Um, throwing evil eyes. She could be jealous of you. Um, jealous of your looks. Jealous of your job. Jealous of your... The car you drive, jealous of your home, your house, okay, jealous of your money. Here's cash, money, and unexpected income coming for somebody, okay. Somebody is thinking about you heavily. And we have receipts of proof. So, for some of you, the person who left you hanging, it's leaving you hanging because they're dealing with somebody else. 
And y'all don't get mad at me. I tell the truth because the truth tells me. This is what I got to do. Okay. But there could be an energy of somebody coming towards you to tell you to try to confront you with the receipts of proof. Do you really want to see the receipts? Do you really want proof that your person is cheating on you? And somebody, this person could be coming with receipts of proof. And what, I mean, how, what receipts could they use? They could have went to a, a restaurant or somewhere else with somebody else and just show you receipts. They could forge your person's name. But if you've been with your person long enough, you probably know how they write or know some parts of their signature, what it looks like. I don't know. What about these receipts? Those kids ain't his. Damn. This is a warning. Take heed. Spirit is alerting you. Pay attention. Okay. So these receipts may not be your person's. That child, them kids ain't his. Those receipts is from, from um, somewhere else. So your person may be coming to you. They may be coming with receipts. Excuse me for that. The, um, your person may be coming to you with the receipts that, that it wasn't them. Somebody may be singing Shaggy. You saw him banging on the shower. I mean, um, saw him banging on the floor. How it go? I forgot the words. Fight back. Yeah, this person, somebody, your person may be going to fight back because... They heavily, heavily, th heavily, and heavily thinking about you, and they they could come with some sort of uh, receipts, DNA receipts. They could they could be coming back to you, fighting, fighting back to get back with you. Okay, now for some of you, this person or somebody is out there thinking about you because you got some money. This is a warning. Okay, give me three more, Spirit. You see them for who they are. Give me two more. They was betrayed by a snake. Okay, give me one more. They want to spite you. Okay, so, yeah. Don't, 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 um, this person is full of shit, okay? You see them for who they truly are, and they only come back, coming back or something, um, because they was betrayed. Now, I don't know, this is kind of weird. This person is thinking about you, but they, they want to, oh, you're, oh, okay, thank you, spirit, okay. Whoever your person left you hanging for is the one that's going to try to spite you. They want to spite you. So they may come trying to tell you something about your person. And your person, oh, okay. So whatever day that this karmic energy comes to bring these receipts to you to tell you that something happened on that day between your person and them. Your person has receipts of proof that they were somewhere fucking totally where else with their name and signature and, and they whatever their credentials to need, what they need to show you that they wasn't there. They like, I'm tired of this shit. I'm fighting back. I'm fighting back. I'm tired of her lying and, 
And I keep telling you, she's doing this because I don't want to be with her. Wow. And she's a snake. Ooh. Okay, so tell me more, spirit. Tell me about the receipts. Tell me more about the receipts for proof. What are the receipts for proof? Receipts for proof. Tell me. Somebody is fighting back and they got the receipts. Or this could be the opposite. It could be the opposite. The female, she could be having receipts of proof that your man was there. Somebody on TP and Uncle J. We got Future. We got Infinity. We got a karmic cycle with a karmic soulmate. That's someone who comes to teach you a lesson. You're not beefing no more. You're done. Even though this came out in reverse, I have to I have to leave it the way it is. Karmic is pissed off in reverse. Ask yourself, answer yourself. Past lover. Reconciliation with the past lover who done them dirty. Spell work brought them back together. So spell work then brought them back, didn't bring them back together. Um past lover. Past lover. Re reconciliation. And this karmic is pissed off because she thought she was gonna be with this person in infinity. She saw a future with her. This could be somebody just that's calling themselves Auntie P and Uncle J. And this collective is tired of beefing with them. You're not you're not going through it no more. Because somebody realized it, that this is a karmic circle, cycle, a karmic circus. And this is a karmic soulmate, a past lover, somebody that comes to teach you a lesson. Good and bad. Okay? But you're chosen, this person targeted you. Or they was targeted to come target you. Okay. Tell me more about Auntie P and Uncle J. What is A controlling ass karmic energy. Crown chakra. They sent the banshee spirit towards you. Okay, so somebody's aunt and uncle. They may their names may start with a P or a J. Your name may start with a P or a J. Somebody's name may be PJ. Somebody's name may be JP. Somebody just may call their auntie Auntie J. Auntie, Uncle, Uncle J. Auntie J, Uncle P, Auntie P. Ew. I might have got a flat tire. Somebody got a flat tire. It's a horn blowing. If you hear a horn blowing, you hear an alarm, go check your car. I bind that spirit. I rebuke that spirit right now. I send it back to hell where it comes from. For me and my viewers. Okay, so so this this auntie or uncle sent a banshee spirit towards you. And this banshee spirit, they it's it's a, a, a screaming spirit. So this auntie P and Uncle J, they could have a banshee spirit and they could be coming towards you. This could be your uncle, your auntie and your uncle. They could be loud. They could be um they could be a, a couple that's always sad or crying. Or they could be a couple that's always screaming and yelling at each other because both of them are karmics and controlling. And they've been like this forever. I don't know who that's for. But it's for somebody. Somebody got a controlling ass auntie and uncle. Both of them are narcissists. Okay. So tell me more for the collective, Holy Spirit. Tell me more for the collective. Tell me about this pissed off karma. 
Tell me about the pissed off karmic. Tell me about the pissed off karmic. Tell me about the pissed off karmic. They blank you so much, but they can't express it. The karmic that's pissed off, they hate you so much, but they can't tell they can't tell you. Y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. This karmic can be in her 30s. Ex-girlfriend. Don't know nothing about the third eye chakra. Gaslighting out here. She can be gaslighting your person and, and he may ignore it. He don't fall for the gaslighting. Jealousy and envy. Practitioner put spell on you, spell work on you at the request of someone who is jealous. They can't have children. Somebody is hungry. Karmic lessons. Motel stays and hotel stays one to three hours. So somebody is, is staying at hotels. This person could be in their 30s. They know nothing about healing their third eye chakra or chakras, period. They went to a practitioner to have a practitioner to do something to you or towards their, towards your person. And this person is learning a, a, a karmic lesson because if this practitioner looked off into your energy, they seen that you weren't supposed to be fucked with. This person wanted this practitioner to Block your eye chakra so you couldn't see that her and your person is doing whatever. Wanted to block your crown chakra. This is his ex-girlfriend. So apparently she must still, she must um, basically like don't care about third party shit. See some of these karmic energies, they, they don't care if a man got a woman. They don't care. Those are karmics. I, I have my karmic dates. But I wasn't no home wreck or nothing. These dudes, they lie too. Okay. Y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Okay, give me three more cards, Holy Spirit. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Spiritual wealth. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And you have spiritual wealth. You're abundant. Incense. They was paid to make you fall in love with them. Then sabotage you. This is this now. So for some of you, this person's, this person um, that you're dealing with was sent to you. Now, we're saying they was paid to make you fall in love with them. That can go more than one way. Somebody that hates you could have paid this person to come in your life to, because they see that you have a gift or something. And they could have actually like paid somebody to come in here in your life and you know um have you partying all the time and try to get you strung out on drugs and doing weird shit yeah and this could be your person's ex doing this or this could be your ex doing this because they can't gaslight you no more whoever this person is they can't have children okay whoever this person is they're hungry right now And they can be hungry concerning jealousy and envy. They're so jealous of you. They're hungry. They're hungry to have what you got. Okay? They're hungry. <clears throat> They're hungry because some of you, you're sitting in your jacuzzi, your spa, loving yourself. I see somebody out there. You may have a Tesla. Somebody out there... Um, 
you you post pictures of your how you love yourself online on your Facebook. You're not showing yourself, but you show how you prepare spiritual baths and things. Um, like if you I see somebody making tea herbs and stuff, herbal drinks and stuff, you post it online. Loving yourself, eating healthy, drinking healthy. And this witchcraft that somebody is trying to send to you is going backwards. It's being returned to center. And his ex is doing this because they could have seen your person is still in love with you. But this person got holes on, on speed dial. And this person is attacking you, thinking you the one. Yeah, your person may love you, and you the one, but you ain't fucking with them. This karmic thinks it. They probably get into arguments with this karmic, and the reason you're being attacked is, is not them, them um, getting together, talking about you. It's this masculine energy. He fires this, this, this karmic up. When he gets mad at her, she talks shit to him and he'll say something to her like, so-and-so ain't never, the collective ain't never so-and-so. She do so-and-so. And and he, it's like he, he comes to your defense or she comes to your defense and this pisses this person off. It's like they, they try to gaslight your person, but they end up getting gaslit themselves. It don't work. Because this person will throw up the collective name or something. <laughs> I don't know who that's for. Wow. Don't tell me more about the karmic energy. Tell me more. Locked out, no key. They didn't realize that you're done. I can't help myself. Divine is setting up blessings for you. Scammers. Cemetery. Twisted minds think alike and together. Karmics don't love. They have hatred. They love to laugh at your pain. New love in reverse. So your masculine didn't realize that you was done with him. Okay? You locked him out. He ain't got no key to get back in. Mm-hmm. You, 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 while you locked him out, you're sending your jacuzzi. Now, you may not, you may not um, post it all online that you're in your jacuzzi, but you could have just typed it in letters. Um, chilling in my bathtub. Nice having a nice hot bubble bath or my jacuzzi or something like that. And this masculine seeing it. He all he can do is imagine. And there's something to do with some sort of scams, and there's something to do with a cemetery. And karmic energies don't love. They 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 love hatred. They laugh at your pain. They like to see you hurt. So the best way to take that that energy from them is even when you hurt, smile. Don't don't allow them to think that they their little spell work is working because it's just manipulation. Shit they send out into the energy to put in your energy to make you feel some sort of way. So start blocking that shit. And even if you feel like crying, don't cry. Or if you cry, cry, cry alone to yourself. If you online posting sad shit because you broke up from somebody or somebody broke up with you, stop posting that shit online how sad you, you are behind them. Stop that shit right fucking now. Because all they doing, yeah, you blocked them and you online posting, you know, how mad you are. Fuck them. That's you still giving them their energy because if they watch you and their family or their friends, somebody that, that's in your, your, your friend section is telling him. Or her. Stop that shit right now. They calling you a simp. Somebody saying you can't help yourself. Yes the fuck you can. If you're going to post some shit. Post some happy stuff. 
Stop posting stuff about relationships. Post some things, some positive things, some empowering things. Things to get over shit. And get you a green adventuring. The crystal. Let's see if I got one on in my pocket. No. But get you a green adventuring. And um, you you can get it in the form of a necklace or some earrings and get you a black obsidian. I do have one little black obsidian. Okay. And that's for spiritual protection and to help heal that broken heart and whatever this person did. Get over that shit. No. Well, you if you, you're in the jacuzzi loving yourself already first, you're already doing it. But for those of you, you're still calling this person and, and you, you, uh, you putting subliminal messages online for them? Stop it. Because you're empowering them. Stop mentioning them. Stop it. You're you're lighting up your you're lighting up your fucking page, your 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 platform with this motherfucker. Stop complaining about what they did, talking about how sorrow you are. Get over it. Cry tonight, get that shit out your head, take you a spiritual bath tonight, baby. You hear me? You put some salt in the tub and you get you some flower clippings. If you got some money, get you some, cut you some flowers. And out of your garden, or go to your local floral shop and, and make do you a spiritual bath and treat yourself like a god or a goddess. God damn it. Don't be crying and sipping on that page. You you put some shit on there where you happy now. Stop crying over how they did you. You should be happy they gone. They, they would have kept doing it. So stop crying over that shit. Wash that shit away. You don't need that. Scammers out here. This person was just scamming you. And that's why you can't have new love. Because you sit here crying over this shit. This is why the cemetery is here. You need to kill it. You need to bury that shit. You see what the fuck that say? I know it's like green. Cemetery. Kill that shit. You haven't buried the shit. I can't help myself. Yes, you can. I can't help myself. Yes, the fuck you can. Bury that shit. You hear me? Karmics don't love. This person was sent to you to hurt you. And then when I say they laugh at your pain, that's what the fuck I mean. You all online posting how hurt you are. Get over it. They know you hurt. Now let them see that you done got over it. Don't mention their name. Don't put their initials. Don't say if you watching and all of that shit. Do you. You go have fun. You deal with your family and the people who love you and you post that shit. Take them out of your brain. Remove them. You need to listen to some cutting cords. Affirmations on how to cut cords. Get you a amethyst. A black obsidian. And a green adventuring. Okay. Get those three crystals. Because like I said. This person was targeted. You was targeted. Because you're of the divine energy. And they come to break you down. To make you feel the way you feel. Because you have a fucking. You have a gift. I'm, I'm going to find out. What is this gift? Because. The, the the karmics they ain't they ain't going after no other karmics. Karmics go after them, but they ain't going after other karmics. It's vice versa, basically. Okay, so spirit, what is what is the gift that my collective has? Show me some of the gifts. Show me some of the gifts that my collective has. What are the gifts that my collective possess? I gotta look at my other decks. Yes, because I know, I know, I know. Where is my where are they? I know the exact card. These right here, right here. Now these these are my 
goddess feminine cards, but this can go for masculine too, because a masculine can be a feminine and a feminine can be a masculine. So these are some of the gifts that I know my chosen ones possess. Okay. And if you possess these gifts, put it in the comments for me. Okay. Wow. Okay. Somebody is twins out here. I carry your heart. I carry it in mine. The tribe of the kindred. Shannon of Skulls. Earth Goddess. Okay. Now, here we go. Here we go. It's about to get interesting. And I'm going to tell you your animal guides. Because I know you have a gift or a talent or something out there. Tribe of the Kindred. Clarify the tribe of the Kindred for my collective. Some of you may have a twin. I see all ladies out there. Some of you have streaks in your hair. Some of you color your hair blue. Some of you color your hair orange. Some of you is always doing the pucker up kisses. The earth goddess. That's who you are. A lot of love. I see some of you wear feathers in your hair too. I see a Scorpio energy out there. And with that blue, the person with that has the blue hair, you could have dyed your hair blue because of your third eye. And your, your eyes are blue. Someone has blue eyes, blue hair, and they know all. And she's a Scorpio with that death skull out there. She knows all about her, her third eye and her throat chakra. You see that the, the round the throat part is blue. Her hair is blue. Her eyes are blue. Okay, she got blue streaks in her hair. Somebody is a Scorpio. If you're a Scorpio and you know all about your, your third eye, put it in the comments. Okay. Okay, so spirit, show me show me the the uh, spiritual animal of this tribe of the kindred. Show me the spiritual animal. The zebra. Let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. Don't be afraid. Okay, fear nothing. Because this the tribe of the kindred. This could this could represent a tribe is more than one. That's people. That can be your spirit guides. And some of you, like I see twins, these could be. You could have a twin sister or a twin brother, or you could be male twins, but your hair is not the same color. One of your hair is blonde and the other one is red. You love your sister. Okay. You even dress alike. You dress alike, but it's, 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 you dress alike, but it's different. It's like you have on the opposite. Say, for instance, if you have on a, a, a flowered shirt and some jeans. Your twin will have the jeans with the flower shirt. The or the, the pockets will be the same pattern as your shirt. Your twin will have on regular jeans. You guys will wear the same pattern, stuff like that. Okay. I don't know who that's for, but that's for some twins out there. And maybe with the black heart, maybe you and your twin is not getting along right now. I didn't I didn't pay that attention. You and your twin may not be getting along. Okay, so spirit, show me the animal, the spirit animal for the Shannon of Skulls. So some of you um, need to look up what a zebra represents spiritually. Okay, some of you, your spirit animal is a zebra. And you just may need to look up the zebra. Now, as I look at this zebra and I'm, I'm, I've learned about the the um 
psychology of colors when it comes to the chakras. Okay, and this green out here represents your heart chakra, which represents love, balance. That orange represents your sacral or your sacral chakra, which represents your sexuality. Okay, and that black and white could could represent you coming the the the, the white is coming through the darkness the light is coming through with the zebra let go of your fear and know that you are safe okay that's for those of you you look up a zebra and if you represent if you resonated that could be your spirit animal okay okay so spirit show me the the shannon of skull clarify shannon of skulls clarify shannon of skulls Clarify Shannon of Skulls. The Cardinal. The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. This is a bird. And let me get back to the zebra. Wait a minute. Those of you that this, that, that, the, that's the zebra. It's something to do with sex. With your sexuality going on with you and your growth or your money situation. Some of you, it could be a money situation. And it's something that you need to speak out about. Something that you're not speaking out about has you out of balance. Okay. You need to speak out about your spiritual pursuits, things you want to, things you want to do. Things you can see. Yeah. This is the same thing. Your, your, your throat chakra and your, um, your third eye and your throat chakra are blue. Light blue and dark blue. And this is dark blue and light blue. Okay. So you may need to also. With this bird out here. Birds represent spirits. So maybe sometime you just need to sit in your car. And, and look at the birds. And pay attention. You see one bird. That bird can represent you. You see two birds. That bird can represent you and the person you're thinking about. You see three birds that can represent a third party situation where it's you and your person and somebody else interfering in your relationship. And what are those birds doing? Are they fighting together? Are they arguing? Did one bird leave the other and fly? Did one bird land with one and then leave with another? Did it follow that bird and left another bird sitting there feeding, fending for itself? Was these birds squawking and arguing and all of that? Pay attention to the birds, okay? And look up what a cardinal means spiritually. Okay. Now, it's also the energy of an earth goddess. The earth goddess is you, who, who you are. Love. This is, this is mother love. This is the empress. This is love. I mean, you're the nurturer. It's like where you go, you're like, you're like Belle on, on Enchanted. Where you come out, butterflies and shit come out. Flowers bloom. Okay. <laughs> you have that, how, that's how much love somebody has out there. Angel number 44. You need to look up. Okay. Okay, so tell me, what is the... the Spirit animal for this earth goddess. What is the spiritual animal animal for the earth goddess? What is the spirit animal for the earth goddess?
Ayan. That's crazy. Yeah, I flipped out for you, Earth Goddess. You may be too strong like the animals. It's like, hell no, nah, that's the Earth Goddess. Man, you fucking with it. She, she got more, she got a lot of knowledge. Okay, chimpanzee. Use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get the answers to your question. This has something to do with your happiness and your love. Your love. It could be your love for happiness. It could be you the person you're with makes you happy or you make this person happy with this green out here okay mother earth the you 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 heal hearts it's something about you but you could be feeling like you're having a problem right now and spirit wants you to use your intuition. So let's see what is the problem that the collective is having. Some of you, you could be a baby mama, a child's mother, and you could be having a problem with your father, with your child's father, not allowing you to heal. Here's the energy of you can either be saying time's up with this person or spirit could be saying time's up with them. Okay. So what is it that's going on with this earth goddess? This loving, caring individual. Tell me about this loving, caring individual. What is the energy surrounding this earth goddess? Y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. You're not seeing eye to eye with somebody. Now, this could also mean that um, you halfway know about this person and they halfway know about you. And I think it has something to do with spirituality awakening. You two could have the same. You could have matching tattoos. What else about this earth, guys? What's the energy? Not not searching for a higher source. Yeah, this person, this could be this could be your person. This could be a family member. But whoever this person is, you're so kind and sweet with them. But at the same time, they're narcissists. And you may not know that they're narcissists, they're a control freak. And with this auntie or this feminine energy, she's one who, who keeps the keys around her neck. She keeps people entrapped and locked in cages and shit. She's like one of them them um, controlling ass women on them movies. And she don't want you. Maybe she brought you up or this could be your mother that brought you up um, raised in church and stuff and she don't know about crystals and stuff so she says of the devil. She's against the, the, of you searching for a higher source, which is God the most high. And if you use your intuition and your intellect, you'll solve the problem with her. Like, what is the question? What is the question this earth goddess wants to know? What is the question? What is this question about? <laughs> are they selling their ass online? Or are they gay for pay? <laughs> or are they, what are they secrets? 
Damn. You want to know if this person is is um, a male escort. <laughs> it could be a female escort, a prostitute, okay? Because they're not telling you. And for some of you, this could have been your vulnerability, vulnerability with this person. You could have been pure to this person and you may have felt a little defenseless when it comes to them. Spirits say time's up. They try to bust your bubble, but you're not letting them. Some of you are somewhere smoking a hookah, smoking a blunt, smoking a cigar, even if you don't smoke, celebrate. And this is the energy of somebody who needs to connect with spirit. Remember what I said about the birds, okay? Look at the birds. Look at the birds. This is the energy of somebody coming towards you with the message. And you may have... Uh, Reject this person and they could be coming towards you or this is somebody coming towards you and you don't know You're no longer blinded to a situation You've isolated yourself mm -hmm. <laughs> Just keep coming out Isolation Here's somebody trying to put you in a in a um I don't know why I heard a legal entrapment, a Venus flytrap, but for some of you, it's it's a legal entrapment. Somebody, what a legal entrapment? What's illegal? Somebody, this is the energy of somebody doing some shit online. Yeah, they dealing with somebody online, sexual. Okay, they could be paying for sex. They could be um, online prostitution. They can be showing pictures, selling pictures of themselves, their body parts, nakedness and stuff. Yeah. And this could be a feminine energy that's doing this and you don't know and she's trying to keep it quiet. But you being an earth goddess, you know this shit. All right. So I'm going to stop this reading right here. And I hope I helped you in some sort of way. If I did, please like this video. Share it on your, your other platform and um, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will be notified the next time the Karmic Circus is in your town. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right. Peace.